Okay, so now we're going to add a printer to our computer. What I do is I hit the Windows Orb, and you'll see that there is Devices and Printers. If I click on this, what it does is it takes me to all of my printers that are on my system. You can see that there are some that are greyed out, those are ones that are currently offline, and you can see that there are ones that are not greyed out, and those are active printers. So I'm now going to add a printer, so I'm going to click Add a Printer. What this does is now gives me a pop-up, and I have two options. I can either add a local printer, and that assumes it's going to be connected via a USB, or I can add a network, wireless, or Bluetooth printer. For this example, we're going to add a local printer. So I'm going to click on Add a Local Printer, and then I must choose an existing port. A lot of these ports are actually logical ports, so just let Windows choose the first one and click Next. Now I can choose the printer from a list. So if the printer isn't in this list, then all you need to do is click the Have Disk and then navigate to the DVD drive. These days your printer driver will be given to you on a disk, but what you could do is you could download it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a Brother printer and I'm going to choose the Brother HL4040CN and click Next. It asks me what I want to give it a name, so it does give me a default option, but what you might want to do is give it a name something that would mean more, so perhaps the Downstairs printer. If I can spell. There we go. And then I click Next. And now what Windows will do is it will install the printer from the drivers that it actually has locally. I now have the option to share this printer. What this means is that other people on my network could go and find this printer and also print to it. What it would require though is if this is plugged into my computer, it would require my computer to be switched on for them to then access that printer. I'm going to actually put do not share this printer in this example and click next. And then it's always recommended to then print a test page. This then ensures that the printer is working properly. And then click finish. And that's it. You can see my printer is there.